Hi, if you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Today, first of all, is Veterans Day. There are no good ways to make that funny, so I'm not going to try. I hope you got the chance to take some time out of your day today. Say thank you to a veteran. It's important. I've been thinking a lot the last couple of days about staying informed and how important it is to stay informed uh, in the world we live in. Today I decided that we're going to read the news, but I imagine that the idea of me just sitting here and reading the news to you is not very entertaining. Today we're going to do some weird news. Offbeat stories, stuff you may not have heard of. We're going to make it fun, we're going to make it entertaining, nothing too impactful. We're just gonna, we're just gonna read some news, read some weird news today. Let's get to our first story, which is that Amazon's Ring doorbells have an issue. Ring doorbells are being recalled because they have a habit of catching on fire. Amazon recalled about 350,000 of their Ring doorbell units because they spontaneously caught fire. What? Why are you recalling them? I feel like that would be the best security measure you could possibly have. Can you imagine as a thief walking to someone's door and as the ring doorbell goes off, it catches fire? You have to assume that that house is equipped with various other anti-theft measures, including weapons and anything and everything of the sort. Let's say you're walking to someone's door just to like steal their Amazon package or something. And the ring doorbell goes off and immediately spontaneously combusts. What are you gonna do? You're gonna turn around and you're gonna run is what you're gonna do. Cause that's terrifying. You'll never steal from anybody again. I feel like this is the perfect security measure for ring doorbells. In fact, I say that we need to petition Amazon to attach a flamethrower to ring doorbells. And we have a, a, a button in the ring app on our phone that's just a flamethrower button. Though I understand why they recalled them, you can't have your house going up in flames spontaneously when someone's at your door. I understand that that's an insurance issue and a safety issue, but also, Got something to think about there, Bezos. A TikTok video of a McDonald's employee pouring drinks into the different sizes of cups and then filling the cups equally has gone absolutely viral. This is a video of a McDonald's employee first pouring a drink into the small cup, then pouring the same small cup into the medium cup and it filling it to the top, and then pouring the medium cup into the large cup and filling it to the top. This is a sign that TikTok has gone too far. I don't care. It doesn't, it, no, we don't care if they're all the same. Just give us a drink. We don't care if they're all the same size. We just care if there's not a mountain of ice in our drink. And for you people that get extra ice, what is wrong with you? You're asking for the thing to get watery immediately. Also, I feel like all you have to do is just fill the bottom a little bit of each of the cups and as you pour it in, it's gonna fill it up to the same size, even if they're not exactly the same level of whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm reading a story about a TikTok of someone pouring different sizes of McDonald's cut. We don't, this is not hard, we don't, it's not important. Our next story is that the Mayans got it wrong again. I have a, I feel like at some point we have to stop trusting them. They said December 21st, 2012, and then someone threw out like 2018 that Planet X was going to show up next to the moon and everything was going to explode. Uh, now it's December 21st, 2020. I understand that now we're using a different calendar than we were then because we're using the Julian calendar. If you go by the Gregorian calendar, we're technically still in 2012. I feel like this is just a last ditch effort by the Mayans to try to get something right. You've been wrong twice. Okay, just throwing dates at a wall and seeing if they stick is not going to work. The world's not going to end on December 21st, 20... I shouldn't say that. It might. You know, we never know. There's a chance. Now I'm terrified. Why did I do this? And now the world's going to end next month. 
Why, Mayans? Why? The next story that I found in Travel and Leisure magazine was that travelers are using fake COVID-19 tests to cross borders. I don't even have anything funny to say about that one. Don't do that. Look, I know how badly everybody wants to go places. I'm at a point now where I've been in the same place so long that I started a YouTube channel. You know how long you have to be somewhere to start a YouTube channel? I understand that we want to go places, but this, this is too far. Our next story comes from Live Science Magazine about a fish who's being cheered up with a 16th birthday celebration after he ate all of his friends. I'm just gonna let that one sit for a minute. The fish's name is Miko. It lives in an aquarium in Finland. It became pretty obvious to the folks at the aquarium early that Miko had a bit of an appetite for the other fish in his tank. And he ended up eating all of them. First of all, I didn't know that fish got that old. 16, that fish can legally drive. He doesn't have the capacity to operate a motor vehicle, uh, either mentally or physically. However, age only could legally operate a motor vehicle. Second of all, can you imagine how awkward of a birthday party must that be? Because your friends aren't coming to the birthday party. They're dead, you ate them. I feel like that would be a really awkward and sad birthday party. Our last story is that veggie burgers can now legally be called burgers, according to European Parliament. We went all the way to European Parliament, the Parliament of the Continent of Europe. I imagine probably just the European Union, but the Parliament of Europe, to decide whether or not we could call veggie burgers burgers. Apparently there was a group of farmers in Parliament that wanted to put together a bill that would no longer allow veggie burgers to be referred to as burgers. The farmer lobbyists said no, environmentalists said yes, and the parliament agreed with the environmentalists. So now it is entirely legal under whatever jurisdiction the European parliament has to refer to a veggie burger as a burger. I don't know why this was a problem in the first place. I don't know why we had to take it all the way to European parliament, but now it is decided. Today was an important win for veggie burgers everywhere. You should be excited. Veggie burgers no longer have to live without a title. They can officially live with the title of burger. If you like this video, leave a like. If you have some suggestions for what you want to see me do next, any other news stories you have that you want me to read, anything at all that you want to see from me, leave it in the comments. If you enjoy the content that I'm putting out, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, do all that YouTube stuff. Share this video with somebody. If you enjoy this video, share it with your friends. Let them enjoy it too. Congratulations, Veggie Burgers. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next time.